beginning of, beginning of a new year. And we pray that Allah will make this um, this new year one full of rahmah and, and barakah for us. And, <clears throat> and uh, inshallah, we can benefit more from the teachings of, of Mulana Rumi. So we are now on the, uh, uh, still in the first source, Ayn al Awwal, um, second river. Uh, and today we're we're on the second rivulet, uh, and so the I guess to just do a, a recap of everything we we covered last year. Um, in a nutshell, um, uh, Mola, Mola, um, Sheikh Kashifi uh, essentially presented the problem, right? And as as we've discussed multiple times, the problem that existed back then and exists still today is um, if you have, if you got it, as we say, if you have, if you have reached that, that true level of Iman, um, that Aynul uh, Yaqeen, people are going to rush, rush towards having what you have. Uh, there will be an Hasra. Uh, 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 and to yearn what have to yearn to have what you have, um, and if and if you don't have that, if all you have is is uh, the shell without the core inside, or the 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 word but without the meaning, as as Molana Rumi describes in multiple ways, or or the the amal but no core, no core spirituality the botan, the dahir is there, but the botan is not there, then you're going to have the exact opposite effect. You're going to repel pe people from the religion of God. Um, and so that's the challenge. Um, so we've been uh, studying the solution uh, over the last few weeks. Um, uh, initially, uh, it's really been about getting into the right mentality. So, um, uh, she had, uh, what we it started out by you know remembering what our purpose is on life, uh, right? Uh, and we 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 read about the day of Alast, right? Alastu birabbikum qalu bala, where Allah gathered all the souls, um, and he and he got uh, confirmation from from the souls as to whether. Um, he is the Lord or, or, or not. And uh, we all said bala, bala wa shahidna. And um, every action, every thought, every intention we have um, is a confirmation of that bala and that, that testi testimony that we gave uh, back then. Uh, what we're doing here is to confirm that. Then we read about um, a reminder of why we are here. I created mankind and jinn, except not that they worship me. And again, worship is not just prayer and fasting. Worship is everything we do um, in our life uh, throughout the day. It's, it's the whole concept of Urbudiya, the slavehood of Allah. Um, we then uh, learned about uh, Nijasat, Right, uh, we all know about nijasat, zahiri uh, or zahiri, right? The external nijasat are, are you know, the impurities uh, that we know of. But what's even more important than that is to purify ourselves from internal uh, impurities. Um, in nijasat, buya shayad hafdam on nijasat, buya shayad azrei tasham. This nijasat, this external nijasat, its smell um, only extends itself seven, seven steps. But this nijasat, the internal nijasat, extends, its smell extends all the way from Ray, which is a town in south of Tehran, all the way to Sham, uh, which was the old name for Damascus. Um, so how do we uh, purify that? Then last time we talked about uh, our last session of, of, 
of 2020 was about how um, the olea are, are analogous to um, water falling from the sky, um, how they have this effect to remove impurities from the earth and how there's this cycle. And, and you know, it, if you think about it, the prophets have a similar, um, uh, they do this, right? The prophets have this um, effect, the olea do, but even <clears throat> we ourselves to a lesser extent, right? On a smaller scale, we have this uh, as well, this effect in our own lives. And we have to always remember that, you know, we start with spiritual energy, um, we come to the earth, right? We interact with those around us um, through that process of, of trying to purify others. We ourselves might become impure again. That's when we reach out to Allah again and, and we go back up to the clouds the same way water does, right? Um, we purify ourselves again and then we come back down again. It's this process, this, this iterative process um, in itself is actually um, what's valuable in itself and, and it, we shouldn't let it discourage us, right? Our, our religion is not here to uh, seclude us from society. Uh, on the contrary, the, the, the value um, of water is its interaction with impurities in um, purifying it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be um, valuable. Similarly, um, the olia, uh, the prophets, you know, we ourselves as, as the mu'mineen, inshallah, um, our value is in also uh, uh, going through this uh, process of purification and repurification continuously um, through our interactions with, with those around us. So alhamdulillah, um, now uh, uh, it's 2021 and we're, we're actually starting out with what I, what, what, I, what I like to call the practical part of this book. That okay, how how do we how do we implement that that purification of, of ourselves? How do we how do we do that? And and actually, what uh, Molana Molana um, Kashifi he does this in a very clever way. He starts out from from namaz, from the salat, um, the, the the daily ritual prayers, and how one um, should should pray so that it has a purifying um, effect on oneself. So. Um, so here, uh, uh, I wanted to actually not just translate the, the, the poetry, um, but also um, the, the advice he himself gives. Um, and he also includes a couple of uh, lines of poetry, um, uh, not just from the Mathnevi, but from, from other books of Molana Rumi and, and one other poet. I thought um, I would, I would uh, uh, discuss that to you discuss that with you also. So here he says, so this is Rashayadobum, which means the second rivulet. Darbayan uh, Namaz Kebaratast as Tabajohbahak Vaura um Vaura uh what does that say? the writing is a little bit unclear. Um what does that mean? Could you actually could you... to me a relationship? Okay. Nisbat is the relationship to me, Mara. Okay. I think. Okay. All right. Thank you. So 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 Darbayan and Namaz means so here we are talking about Namaz, which um includes Kebaratastas Tabajo the Hak. Any paying attention to um, haq, which is you know, Allah, va'ura mara nisbate behusbe bahasbe musalla namaz awam kalbi bashat. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so he's saying namaz awam, <clears throat> any the namaz of the the common people. No, 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 namaz is separate. Awam kalbi is separate. Um. Are you sure? Uh, I thought this is a period over here. I know. Yeah, it doesn't have period because it's the end of the line. But he says so that we are connected to him by masala, by uh, by our prayer from our heart, commonness of our heart. 
I this is how I understand it, but I'm not sure because yeah. uh, what would be Avam Kalabi Vashad Vijan? I think what he's saying is what I thought this is saying is Namaza Avam Kalabi Vashad Vijan. The prayer of the common people is just a a frame spiritless yeah spiritless yes yeah spiritless uh qalib, which is like a um like a a, a a frame which which holds something together so it's just the actions <clears throat> but but the heart is not there that's this, right this is what i i thought it's saying but well that's exactly what, what i am saying also but but what he was saying that um that this is because of being directed towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because we have connection to him through. And then he gives these examples. Okay. okay. So go ahead. <laughs> you read it better. No, 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 no problem. Thank you for so, ah. so he's saying Chidjana Namaz Huzur al Dilas. It means like the, the spirit of Namaz is um Huzur al Dil, which means the presence of the heart. Um the presence of the heart in front of your your Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. As we say, for sure, right? Huzur means just being in front of him, feeling that you are standing in front of him. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. Mm. La salata illa bi huzur al qalb. Mm. Okay. So there is no, so here, and this is Arabic now. He's, I guess this is a, a narration from the Prophet. There's mm. no salat except um, for the presence uh, of the heart. Um, the on surate. Bi ertikab riyazat va mujahidat as rabile mahalatas. Um, yeah, so I think uh, what, what this over here is saying is that, um, va an surate bi ertikab, um, that uh, face, uh, surate bi ertikab. Uh, do you know what this means, uh, brother Abdul Rahman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go go back to the the jum, this jumla that he started. He said, "Chejan and Amaz Hazur Dilast," because actually the spirit of the prayer is that your heart is face to face with Him. And there is no prayer really unless your heart is facing and seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huzur is when you are in presence of somebody and you can see that person. So here he says, unless your heart is seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then your, your prayer is not complete. But then he says, <clears throat> So because he says that Surat Abir Takab, that this situation of being uh, without uh, that connection, Riyazatu Mujahidat as Kabile Mahalatas, these efforts and these struggles are from the family of uh, possibilities. And then you understand, that, and that those people that are special, their, their prayer is. And then you can go ahead. Yes. And this has these four signs. Right, right. So mm -hmm. Shuruba, so the four signs are um Shuruba mm Elm, -hmm. Yani starting out um, with knowledge and awareness of what you what it is you're you're actually doing. Qiyam Bahaya means doing Qiyam, but with uh, with Haya. Haya means like um modesty. Modesty, exactly. And uh, um, means uh, to... Delivering it with respect. Yes. Yeah. Respect, yeah. Yes. Showing respect properly and uh, exactly. showing, seeing his grandiosity or grace. Yeah, it means ending it with... With, with, with the presence 
and and the recognition that he is the mighty and you are not. And we have, I don't want to say the word fear, but that realization that you are nothing in front of him. Yes, yes. Mm. The namaz akhasul khawas means the prayer of the, you know, the elite. <laughs> special of the special. Special of the special. Yes. Is i'raz bikulli, means turning completely away uh, as masuy, ma, masavaya Allah. Turning, every, turning away from everything except for Allah. Vadar uh, bahr shuhud. It means um, uh, turning away from everything except from Allah and drowning uh, in the sea of uh, shuhud, the sea of test testimony. Not drowning, immersing. <clears throat> yeah, you can, you can, yeah, in him, but drowning does not really, really go far enough. Uh, annihilating yourself into his presence. Okay. So then he, he, he brings uh, this verse from, from Divan, it's not actually from the Masnavi, it's from Divan Shams. Uh, uh, where uh, I'm going to actually I went and found a couple of uh, one couplet before it so he starts from uh, a little bit in so it says اگر نه روی دل من در برابرت دارم من نماز من این نماز حساب نماز نشمارم it means mm -hmm. if, if I don't come to you um with my heart, um, I don't consider this namaz as a real namaz. Can Can you repeat that Farsi again, please? Sure. Agar na ruy dil and dar barabarat daram, man in namaz hesab namaz nash maram. Masha, masha, mashallah. Mara garaz namaz on bovad ke yek saat. Um, so here, Molana Rumi is saying, my intention from doing namaz is so that for one hour, so that I can share with you uh, the secret of my my sadness, um, uh, my, uh, uh, my, my gamma ferrak, my, my, uh, uh, the secret of separation. No, not secret, the, 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 the pain of separation. The pain, yes. The Sorrowness, pain. yeah. Yeah, the pain of, and sorrow of, of being separated from you. Vagarna. Can you, can you just let, let's repeat this again? This is beautiful. Mara gharaz de namaz ambuvad ki yaksat. To me, the only reason I come to prayer, that's the only thing I want from my Salah. Yes. To me, the, the need that I go back to Salah is so that I can share with you uh, the pain of some, my separation from you. Since I left you last, <clears throat> so that I can share with you that uh, Sarana that I had uh, since I've been separated from you. From last namaz to this namaz, whatever time it is, that's yes. why he says I keep coming back. This is beautiful. Yes. Vagarna, hmm. vagarna means otherwise. Vagarna in chenamazi bovad ke har saat neshast ruy mehra bodol de bazar. It means otherwise. Um, what kind of namaz is this that every hour um, I come and sit? Uh, uh, across or not every hour all the time all the time yeah. <laughs> yes harsad means continuously uh, <laughs> otherwise what namaz is this um that i i sit across from the mehrab um 
means like I, I I give my heart away. At least that's how I'm I'm trying. No, 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 no. He he says the. Well, let's go back. Otherwise, what would be that prayer if I was sitting continuously in front of you? And then Nashasta Ruwe by Maharab. I'm sitting facing the Maharab Vadil Babazaram, and my heart is in the streets. My heart is in the market. Oh, Babazaram. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. He says, if I was to continue sitting with you and do nothing else, then the time would come that I'll be thinking of the market and all that. Uh -huh. So this is why I go away and then come back for the next prayer, and then I come back for the next prayer. Oh, thank you, that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's just giving all the you know scenarios. Yeah, beautifully, beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then there's another one that that wasn't written here. I went back to the original um, Sham, <laughs> Shams. Mm -hmm. It says, "As in namaz riyayi chanan khajal shodam." Ah. Yeah. Kabar ruyat nazar nimiara. Hmm. I am so ashamed of this. Namaz Riyai means this prayer uh, of Riya, this uh, uh, prayer, this uh, prayer where I'm just showing the actions. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. You know, Riya mm. also means doing it so other people can can see me. Yeah. Uh, means I'm so ashamed of it. Um, disgraced, disgraced. Khajal is being disgraced. Disgraced. Yeah. Dar ruyat nazar. Um, mm. It means um, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't even. Uh, it, it, I'm so disgraced and ashamed of it that I don't even want to uh, bring this in front of you. To bring this that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so. So so this is actually from from Divan Shams, um, mm. and then. Uh, so. So then, then uh, he he cites another line of poetry here, but this is actually I I I, I couldn't find it in the Masnavi. So then I went in and searched, and I found it. It's actually from another uh, Persian poet, um, famous Persian poet by the name of Araki. Um, Arabi or Ar Araki? Araki, yeah, yeah. Araki, oh, I haven't read anything about him. Yeah, I'll, I'll forward it to you. Mm -hmm. So this line it says. در کوی خرابات کسی را که نیاز است خوشیاری و مستیش همه عین نماز است. So, so it took me a while to to kind of figure out what 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 this is saying, but I I think I I think I understand it. So what it's saying is در کوی خرابات means in the alleys in the alley of the kharabat. Kharabat, um, uh, it refers to, it, it, it has multiple meanings in, in, uh, in Erfan. Um, one of them refers to, it, its literal meaning is um, like a, an area where, like it's a city that's been deserted and it just has buildings and ruins. Um, no, 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 no. Here he's saying Kharabat is the where the wines and liquor is. Well, yes. Bars and well, yeah. we, yeah. that's how it's used in this literature. Exactly. Yes. Where Kharabat is the worst of the worst place you want to go. Exactly. Not des not deserted, but being occupied by people that are non-believers. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're you're exactly right. So I read about this. So so basically in <clears> times. Um, because drinking wasn't allowed in the towns and the cities, people would go to the kharabat. They would. That's to, right. The areas where there's all wineries. Yes. Yeah, like mm -hmm. these areas where the building, where, you know, there's nobody there anymore. Um, like kind of like these deserted areas. Uh, you could think of it as kind of like the. I don't want to say the ghetto, but, <laughs> but but like uh, basically abandoned um, buildings. But but that yeah that so that also those were the taverns essentially. Those but this is the antithesis of of the masjids. That's that's how they exactly. use it in literature. That if one place is you come into Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and this is the opposite of that. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So but but the tavern again in in uh, 
in, in a lot of uh, in Persian poetry, um, mm -hmm. Sufism, Gnost uh, Gnosticism, it represents actually the place of worship, the place of the mihrab, the place where you go to get drunk in the love of Allah. Allah, yes, right. So, 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 so what it's saying is, um, in the alleys of the kharabat, he who is in um, a state of spiritual need, or niyaz, actually, I look at Niyaz is the, uh, niyaz is the affiliation. Yes. So whosoever so, is affiliated to this, so whosoever has any concerns of going to Kharabat. Hmm. So I so I looked this up. Niyaz also in old Persian meant ishq. So he who is also in a state of ishq. Niyaz is the no the, the, the receiver of the ishq. See, you see, we call Niyaz man somebody who goes and asks for something, and whosoever delivers is somebody with Niyaz. So Nayaz is asking for something from there. So here he says, whosoever has any kind of a, of a hope to receive anything from Kharabat. Kasirakin Nayaz asks, whosoever goes there to receive something. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Hushyariyo mastish hame eina namaz asks. It means both their sobriety and their state of intox intoxication is essentially namaz right is essentially prayer um, mm. <clears throat> so so I, I i you know there's there's many ways this has so many levels of meaning and, and um, how it can be interpreted but it um i guess what, what it really points to <laughs> he's giving yeah the, this is a very difficult one to understand standing alone i think he's talking about being opposite of what he has given on top about namaz of hasul khas and all here he says, if you are related to that kind of a thing, then there you have to stay alert and uh, be aware of where you are. That becomes your namaz when you are in Kharabat. This is how I understand from this one one share. Yeah. Okay. You know, you can't, you cannot be intoxicated there because for to be in that uh, area, you have to be alert, and that is your namaz there. Well, it, I, I think what well, the way I understand it is it's it's saying, you know, when you are not not intoxicated with alcohol, but intoxicated with with God's love, right? And and you know, you're in love, right? You're Asha. When you go to Salat with that state, um uh, you know, your your Hoshiari Masti Hame Ainanamazas. It's like when you're in that state, everything you do um, is 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 equivalent to Namaz. We have this person. I don't know. This can this cannot be uh, Rumi. <laughs> no, no. This is not Rumi. Uh, this is, okay. Uh, this is Araki. This is. I see. So Arachi. this is okay. Yeah. So I I can. Send I don't get it. I quite frankly I don't get it because. I, I can send you the full poem. Um, I think the. You know, it goes back to the verse of the Quran we have, right? Where, in the Quran, the Samawat and the Ard and the Night 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 and the it's it's they're they're constantly in this state of of remembrance of Allah. Um, I'm I, the way I'm thinking it is. Oh, oh, he has given the explanation. Read under the Inja Sohan Daran Miravad. Read this and see what it means. Yeah, Inja Sohan Daran Miravad ke Salik. Salik. Bayad. Bamaani Bamaani Amuda the Ramaz ke har ferry as afar salat asharat yaki as onas. Dana Garda Tahalat and Amadish, but the Razi Ezaz Kabuli Malam Mutrazas Shabbat, but to a Juhik that Namaz Matlubas Jus Butter Pire Kamil Ge Imame Hakikiast. Ah, Muyasar Nabashet Kama Kala Ruhu Lahu Lahu. 
So yeah, he is giving that explanation. See, maybe you can tell us what this all means. Well, so mm -hmm. what I'm what I'm understanding here in just mm -hmm. that on Miravat ke salik bayad be maani mude dar namaz ke har fi'li az af'al salat isharat be yeki az ana. So basically, <clears throat> um. In just sochan daran miravad means here what is being said is that the salik the traveler bayad ke be maani moede dar namaz means when going to namaz har fi'li az af'al salat yeah every action of all of the actions of the salat isharat be yeki az anast dana gardad so so every action of the salat is is uh, it, it's is actually symbolic of of something that is um, that that's much greater and and we're gonna read it it'll make sense uh, so basically everything we do in salat is is symbolic of something um, mm -hmm. and it's saying that the the traveler needs to become aware of you know our each one of our actions our ruku our sujood our qiyam our takbir. All of these are symbolic and representative of something, and we need to understand that. Um, uh, no, no, no. Finish, finish this. That was joy. That namaz matlub as juz ba tarbiyat hai piye kamil ke imam e hakiki as muyassar na baashat. That means, yeah, because he does not have a guide. Yes. Uh, that is the true, true, you know, see, <coughs> help for this kind of an activity. So I think he's referring to the need for a piye kamil. Yes. But uh, he's it's not very elaborate here. But but yeah. he's again. This is where Harabat reference is more pertinent to this particular explanation. Yes. That if you are there and you are alert, then you are not not really receiving what you would have received if you had a good guide with you. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now uh, this this is from. Uh, uh, the Masnavi, what we're what we're about to read now. Um, so, okay, so here it says, "In namaz amad sulute ma'navi bi dalili dar namazat chun ravi." It means that um, this namaz um, comes uh, as sulute ma'navi as a a, a Spiritual, um, a spiritual like traveling, traveling means coming, uh, a, a spiritual journey. Okay. The Delhi Lidar Namazat Chun Ravi means uh, because you go, uh, you you go into your namaz without uh, any reason or any clear understanding of, of of what you're doing. Okay, so it's important to uh, first understand um, what it is you're doing. Um, chun imam, chun, uh, chun imam e chishm roshan dar salah, chishm, ro chishm roshan bayad on dar pish ra. Uh, this also another, um, in, in the Masnavi itself, I looked it up, this actually is uh, a imam e chishm roshan dar salah, Cheshm Roshan Bayad and Dar Pishwa. It means, um, O Imam, right? O Imam who, who is uh, clear sighted during uh, Salat. Uh, 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 during Salat, uh, to lead the ritual prayer, you require uh, a clear eye. Uh, you you require the the ability to see, okay. And this is both both this is both actually literal and um, uh, uh, metaphorical, right? Both by by having a clear eye means you need to physically be able to see, uh, but also you need to have um, uh, a, a clear understanding of, of of what it is you're doing. Now, brother, brother Maddy, if you use this second line as the first line and then this one, then you'll understand it better. Yes. He, he says, Chashme Roshan Bayad under Peshra. A clearly seeing eye is the like, as you are walking in, on a path, 
your bright eye and seeing eye is like chu imam e chashme roshan dar sala as if there is a leader imam in, in your sala so he says your your seeing eye for your path of this salute for part your path of seeking allah subhanahu wa taala is like an imam that he is leading the sala you, you understand now that's how you understand chun imam chashme roshan bayad andar peshra chun imam e chashme roshan dar sala okay that's interesting yeah that's that's exactly what it is but he this is how poetic poetically he, he kind of started this yeah uh, otherwise yakni imam will not make any sense uh if you if you do it that way then with yak imam this will become the first line this will be the second line but here chashme roshan bayad andar pesh ra chashme roshan a seeing eye it bayad means is like andar pesh ra in your uh, in front of you when you're seeking or going somewhere like an imam with a bright eye or clear vision is leading the salah that's interesting mm-hmm. so in the when when i went to the masnavi mm-hmm. it, it said a imam at chashma roshan dar salah so i wonder if sheikh kashipi modified it here to say chun imam at roshan dar this t- chun 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 makes much better sense then yak but yak would be okay also and then if it was yak then they, this line belongs here but if it's chun imam then it should have been here you know chash should have been here and chun has been should have been here the second place yeah hmm it's very interesting hmm. so then the next line says dar shariat ka snack ki aitia dar imamat pish kardan hur ra so it means in in shariat it is makru um uh for for a blind imam uh to to lead the prayer right? exactly um uh, is is undesirable makru is undesirable yes yes mm. uh dar che hafiz ba shado fist o safi chashm roshan be vagar ba shad safi um so even if you know that blind imam mm-hmm. again so here now there's it's 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 uh literal but also uh <clears throat> blind meaning blind hearted right that's right yes right so garche hafiz ba shad chost o faqi so even if you know that blind imam uh mm-hmm. is a hafiz of the quran if mm. he's very um smart and knowledgeable he's mm-hmm. a faqih um chashm roshan be vagar bashad safi a an imam who whose chashm is roshan who is clear eyed who who's um heart visionary <coughs> yeah. Yeah, right. with vision mm. yeah with vision mm. is better uh, mm-hmm. even though he is a safi right safi means somebody who who doesn't know anything <laughs> yeah fora <laughs> totally right uh. so, uh and this is and so he gives the reason why in in the next uh, couplet kurra parhiz uh uh sorry mabudas az khazr you got it that kurra parhiz nabwad az khazar chashm bashad asl parhiz o khazar um so here it's saying the one who is blind uh is uh not able to to avoid najasat right um chashm bashad asl parhiz o hazar so it means you, to be able to to avoid najasat you need you need to have that vision right to, and again to be it, able to see yeah you have to be able to see as to what to avoid yeah right right so mm-hmm. um the so so but but here like it's it's talking about something deeper right it's it's not saying that person who is not clear hearted the person mm-hmm. who is blind hearted cannot mm-hmm. avoid the spiritual najasa the internal mm-hmm. najasa that yeah. we're talking about the last few weeks um um u palidi ra nabinad dar dar ubur hij mu'min ra nabashad chesh ubur it means um it means uh he does not see the najasat 
uh, or, or the, the dirtiness um, in passing by. Uh, so, so here he's saying, may no true believer uh, have, have blind eyes. Kur zahir dar nejasat zahir ast. So this is what we've been talking about. All yes. <clears throat> it says the outwardly um, blind man um, is unable to see, um, you know, uh, outward or material uh, impurity. Uh, the inwardly blind person uh, is not able um, to see the, the inward um spiritual najasat or the, the spiritual fit, um, filthiness so 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 basically you know what all of these are saying is it's the, the most important thing to have a a true salat is 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 to have that um to to uh to be able to see uh to, to be not blind right to have a to be clear-sighted but 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 from the heart from the heart, exactly. That is the key word, from the heart, yes. So then um, the next, uh, the next uh, set of couplets actually goes into the, the details of, of, of the Salat. So maybe I thought we can do the first couple of them and then maybe save the rest for next week. Um, so, ma'amiya takbir inas e amin ke e khuda ma pi shato urban shadun. It means that the meaning of the takbir, right? When we when we say takbir of the Ram or Allahu Akbar, mm -hmm. um, the meaning of it is ke khuda ma pisha tok or ban Oh God, uh, we are we are uh, we have become a sacrifice or a korban uh, in front of you. Yeah. Um, وقت زبه الله اکبر می کنیم همچنین در زبه نفس کشتنی So it means when وقت زب وقت زب means when you're doing zib when you're doing a sacrifice الله اکبر می کنیم You say الله اکبر before you sacrifice um, any animal before you do a قربانی uh, همچنین در so it's saying you do the same thing when you're trying to do zib or sacrifice of your nafs. Yeah. So, right. So at that moment when we say takbira to lehram, we have to have in our minds that the first thing we're doing is we're doing zib of 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 uh, of our nafs. Shon tan sho esmailo jan. همچون خلیل کرده جان تکبیر بر جسم نبیل So تن چو اسماعیل means body like اسماعیل and جان همچون خلیل and spirit like خلیل like Prophet Ibrahim علیه السلام کرده جان تکبیر بر Jesme Nabil means um, uh, so so it's saying that um, our body is like Ismail and our spirit over here um, is is like Prophet uh, Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam and and how uh, Prophet Ibrahim wanted to sacrifice uh, his son Ismail um, the takbir when we say that uh, is doing the same thing to it's having the same effect on our um, material bodies. That's what it, what it should be doing. Gashte kushtetan zeshahvat ha bu az shod be bismillah bismil dar namaz. so this means that gashte uh, koshtetan zeshahvat ha was means um, the the body um, has uh, become 
the the the, God, the body uh, here uh, is you know our material body, our nafs. Uh, it it it's it should become killed now. It should become sacrificed from shahavat, from from lust and impurities, right? <clears throat> should be bismillah, bismillah, bismillah dar namaz. So now we're we're it, it's it's explaining what the what when we say bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, what this does, right, is um, uh, it, it's having the same effect, right? The, the same way. So, bis, so bismillah, it's saying uh, it has the effect of doing bismil dar namaz. Bismil means uh, to do zib uh, of, a, of an animal. <coughs> so. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Bismil is that animal. The one is that is sacrificed, that is called bismil. So he says that you should become sacrificed just like that, that thing is sacrificed, that animal is sacrificed. Bismil is the actual thing that you have just sacrificed. That's called bismil. Bismillah okay. padke jisko zaba kar diya, that's called bismil. Should bismillah bismil, you become totally sacrificed after bismil. In the namaz, you should become like you have now totally given up your life to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> okay, so, so you're saying bismil, bismil is, is the animal. Bismil is the actual thing that you sacrificed. When you, when you uh, take the knife and you do the neck of the chicken, that chicken after, when he is flopping here and there before he dies, between the time that you put the knife until he gives up the life, that period is called, that stat is called Bismil, who has been sacrificed and is not fully gone yet, but you can see him still. That's called Bismil. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes. I, I looked it up and, and it was saying Bismil means... Oh, we use this Bismil, we use this in poetry all the time. Something that has been uh, sacrificed who has really been uh, given up his life and is now, now just struggling to get there. Bismil is that after, you know, you kill a chicken when you do ziba and you know how it, the chicken flops here and there until it dies. That particular state is called Bismil. Okay. So he has been sacrificed, but he's not gone yet. Gotcha. So that, that, mm. it's that state of the state which the chicken is in the way or any animal that you sacrifice yeah, yeah. that has you have done your job already you have cut the carotids and that that thing is going it cannot come back to life but it's still in front of you and it's still in this world okay. so that's bismil yeah all right so i thought maybe for today that's good enough uh, so i think we've you know we've gotten up to yeah it's quite a bit bismillah and the Talked a lot about other stuff, but maybe if we can, if next week we can um, go through the, the remainder of the comments and, and get a better understanding of that. But if anybody has any comments or thoughts, your voice is going, uh, Madi. Can't hear you. Oh, well, I was just saying, um, mm. and, and maybe next week we can then cover um, the Qiyam and the Ruku and the Jude. Um, but uh, if anybody has any um, thoughts or uh, comments maybe now would be a good time to, to share them sure yeah assalamu alaikum uh, this is tahir uh, I, I think the the importance of the imam as we just read is so important because the a blind cannot lead the blind so it's so critical to have imam with that vision and cleansing of the heart to really lead the the blind from behind so that brings the question of you know, in our in our state and in today's world, selection of the imams and those whom we appoint to lead is so critical because it's the very imam who is leading in, in whether it's just have any kind of prayers he does not really have the, the spiritual vision. So, what will be the state of the imam? So that's the takeaway: is that yes, we are very responsible, but the importance of the guide and the imam is very, very important. Fantastic. Yeah. You, that is the gist of today's lesson. Perfect, everybody.
<clears throat> so in spiritual world, that imam is your heart. Yes. And in the this world is, is the teachers and other that you are emulating and learning from. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this amim, alif, meme, ye, meme? He, I can't understand that word. No. Amim. Mani e takbir, he knows that amim. Um, I thought amim, does amim mean blind or? I don't know. Sadiq and amim, amim. No, no, this is amim. Meme, meme. Mm -hmm. Sorry, or it should be amem because the other kafia is to them, to kurban to them. So it should be amem, but I can't find it. I, I have never come across this word before. Maniye takbiri nosti amem or amem ke khuda maap peshe to kurban to them. That that to them if it should them then it should be amem on this side, and I don't know what that means. But well, anyway, the, we we got the the lesson from it already. But uh, it's it's kind of puzzling world. Hmm. Um, yes, I agree. I, I I I it could mean it may come from imam also. Um, there may be another word for it. I'll look it up. Uh, mm, yeah, the, I haven't seen it, but then again, this is spoken Persian, probably. <clears throat> yeah, I, th I think it's in old Persian. It may, mm. may, uh, uh, may have that meaning. Let me. I'll look it up and. Fantastic. Send it out to the list. See if I find anything. Yes, Alhamdulillah. So if, if nobody has any more thoughts or comments, would somebody be able to uh, uh, maybe yeah, do the dua? Let Brother Tahir do the dua today. <laughs> Your name. La ilaha illallah. Ya Rabb, I'm least qualified here, but Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. May Allah guide us to what we have learned today is to really take Take, it take away for us to genuinely, you know, when we are in presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your daily prayers, which we all do, mashallah, the ritual prayers, to be a meaningful prayer for us and we pray from our heart and to Amen. truly believe that we are in His presence. Obviously, we are very weak. We make dua for Allah, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this, inshallah. Amen. I'll accept what has been said and may Allah help us all, those who are present and those who are not present, to follow these beautiful teachings. Amen. Then we become the Abdullah Swa Ta'ala, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Sirat al-Ladheena an'amta alayhim ghayri al-Maghdubi alayhim wa al-Dualeen. Amin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa al-Asri inna al-Insan al-Lafi khusr. Illa al-Ladheena amanu wa amilu al-Sualihat. وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام ما شاء الله ما شاء الله. so Nicholson Nicholson called the Imam yeah yeah that's interesting I'll I'll look it up more to see if I find anything that is too much of a leave that he took from Imam to Amim and to just make a kafia so I don't think uh, Rumi will do that. So, yeah. So, okay. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zahar Bhai, for that your beautiful dua. Until we meet again, inshallah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum.